Hi, this is Jonas. Sometimes resizing a partition in Linux can be a bit more hassle than one would expect. So uh, in many cases you have to actually, like we do in this case, delete and recreate the, the partition. So what we're doing it here for is uh, a Photon OS VM, so the, the VMware distribution of Linux. And uh, we're doing it in a vSphere environment. So first of all, we're going to increase the disk size in vSphere from 80 gig to 375 gig. And that will not be recognized by the VM uh, unless we actually reboot it. So if you go back, you can see it is still remaining uh, as 80 gig or 79. Without rebooting the VM, we will connect back to it with SSH. And now it will, even though it won't show up here because the partition size is still the same, uh, we will now be able to change the size and expand it. You can see here that the root partition that we want to expand is 80 gig, is SDA3. If we look at the IDs for this disk, we can see that SDA3 has a UID for the disk itself, and then it has a partition UID. So we're going to save that to a text file so we can compare it to the ID that we get after we have deleted and recreated the partition. So we now use fdisk and we do use that for dev sda, not dev sda3, because we want to look at the entire disk, not just that partition. So we delete our uh, last partition, number three, and then just recreate it like this. You can see that it starts at the exact same spot as the previous partition did. It's just that the end will be further out and as such a larger partition. We just want to keep the same the same uh, signature on it. So if we list it now, you can see that the size has increased from 80 to 375 gig. And just write that to disk and save the partition table. Now if you compare the IDs, you can see that even though the disk is the same, the disk UID hasn't changed. The partition UID, of course, is now different because we have deleted and recreated that partition. Now, this is very important because if we don't update the uh, uh, the FS tab files as well as the grub for boot, uh, the VM will work while we have it up. But the moment you reboot it, it'll die. You won't be able to find the correct partition to boot from. So we change the FS tab, update the partition ID, and we also update the grub file. And this may be in a slightly different place on your system, depending on uh, what system that you're actually using. But for Photon OS, it'll be the same location. So now we update the partition ID, and, and that's it. Now we have to expand the, uh, the disk size, so we're resizing the partition. And that is pretty quick. And now if we look at it with the DFH, we can see that it is now 352 uh, gigs available on this disk. And just to prove that it actually works through a reboot and not just here, we'll just do a reboot now. And connect back into the VM. I'll sped this up so that you don't have to wait for the reboot. And you can see that it comes up perfectly fine. Thank you so much.